So much has changed over the last eight years. I got married, I had two boys, I have moved four times, and it's just been a wild ride. Last year, at the beginning of the pandemic in March of 2020, my husband and I suffered a miscarriage and we had been praying and hoping for another child for a while. So I just found myself going through this season where I was clinging to the promises of God and the things I knew He had spoken to us about having another baby. And then September 16th, 2020, six months later, we got pregnant with our son, Samuel. We were living in Austin, Texas at the time. The very next day, September 17th, I flew to Nashville to say goodbye to a dear family friend named Linda Messner, who had been battling cancer for a while now. And before I left, I got to share with her the news that I was pregnant and I am so glad I did that. I, I almost didn't, but I felt the Holy Spirit tell me to. And two weeks later, she went to be with the Lord. And when I came home from that trip back to Texas, I sat down at the piano and was brought to Ecclesiastes chapter three, where it talks about a time for everything. And I was just hit with the craziness of life that I could be celebrating one new life, mourning the loss of another. You know, it talks about a time to weep and a time to have joy and I wrote a song called, There is a Time for Everything. There is a time for everything. A time to laugh, a time to sing. A time to weep, a time to mourn. A time to die. Since that time, I have written a lot of new songs and the Lord has really placed it on my heart to start my own nonprofit music ministry and do another album. That is something I have been thinking about and praying about for a really long time. It just felt like coming to the end of 2021 that the time was now. I was walking one day listening to the Bible on tape and I was listening to Luke chapter three and he talks about Yeshua being 30 years old when his ministry began. It just hit me. I'm 30 years old and my dad was 30 years old when a lot of his ministry began. So I just took that as confirmation that what I had been feeling was right. And I am so excited about it. And I am even more excited to invite you all to join me on this journey and to be a part of what God is doing in this next season. Some of you are new to my music and some of you have been watching me from the time I was a little girl, singing on stage with my dad, traveling with him. Music and ministry have been something that's just always been a part of my life. When I did Weight of Glory back in 2013, I was fresh out of college. I had no idea what would become of it. Since then, I've become a wife, I've become a mom. I've gone through a lot of different seasons of life and in every season, what just stands out to me is the faithfulness of God. That's what I want this album and these songs to reflect, that in every season, He is faithful. No matter what you're walking through, He is faithful. No matter where you find yourself, even as you're watching this video, he is faithful. I hope you'll join me on this journey. You have until December 31st to give a tax deductible donation to Misha Yetz Ministries. And you can visit my website, itsmishamusic.com. That's I-T-S-M-I-S-H-A-M-U-S-I-C.com to find out more, to give your donation, and to help me make my second solo album. My goal is $30,000 by December 31st. I hope you'll join me. God bless you and shalom. There is a time.